Okay, so what's up there guys and welcome back to Dig It Detecting. So uh, today we are just doing a little bit of coin shooting, uh, basically staying within our 5k uh, limit close to home uh, during lockdown and exercising uh, our two hour limit. So uh, we are going to be, uh, as I said, just basically concentrating on the, uh, the gold coins uh, and try and pick up on a few pre-decimals as we go. Uh, that's if we get lucky enough. So uh, as I said, two hours, uh, we'll see how much we can find. So let's get the gear out. And uh, let's make a start. Righto, so I reckon we've got our first uh, gold coin here, if we have a listen to this. So, ready? Nice solid 21. And very short and sharp signal, so exactly, exactly what we're chasing. So, he is right there. Uh, we'll give him a dig, and uh, we'll see what we come up with. First, we'll just give him a shot with a pinpointer. He's pretty deep. Right, so we'll give him a dig and uh, we'll come back, give you a look. Okay, so there we go. It was a $2 coin, uh, as I thought. So nice, short, sharp uh, signal when pinpointing uh, and a nice, solid 21 or fixing on 21 main, mainly. So uh, it's exactly what $2 coins do. So let's keep going. That's our first. Uh, let's keep going and see how many more we can find. Okay, next $2 coin. Here we go. Listen to this one. There he is. I nearly missed him too. He was sort of, uh, I'm sort of wandering off to the right hand side and uh, just got him on the backswing. Once again, short, sharp signal and uh, he's right there from what I can determine. So let's give him a bit of a dig and uh, let's see what we can come out with. Right, we've got the hole opened up, so let's do this together. All right, he's right in the middle there. Let's do this together and see what he is. Pretty certain he's going to be a gold coin though. Let's have a look. Oh. No. Why was he ringing up at a 21? There you go. Maybe it was just the, the angle I was on. So we're on a bit of a, a down slope hill here. So maybe it was the angle of the coin. Or oh, the angle of the hill here. So, hmm, strange one. Strange one. Maybe there's another target in the hole. Uh, we'll check it out. If there isn't, uh, we're going to keep going that way. So nothing left back in that hole there. Uh, however, we have another target here. Uh, let's give you a listen. Another 21. I saw jumping 21, 22. Oh, 23 too. Right in the middle there. So once again, I do think he is going to be a gold coin. Uh, however, remember, got, got to remember those Jack Daniel uh, bottle top lids. Uh, they ring up identical. So let's give him a stab. Uh, let's give him a dig. See what we come up with. So once again, uh, let's do this one together. Right in the middle there. We're on target again. Pretty good. I hope we don't scratch him. He's probably just going to be a gold coin. Still, we don't want to scratch anything. Ah. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it it's happened to us again basil two one cent coins uh, in a row that both sounded uh, like pretty good desirable targets so there you go short sharp signals uh, because it was a coin uh, not the coin that we wanted though i'd rather rather some gold coins today there we go, we've got our next $2 gold coin, and uh, wouldn't you believe it, this one was actually ringing up uh, dodgy sort of 21, 22, 23, uh, you turn sort of 180 degrees uh, to one side and it was sort of ringing up uh, even higher, you know, 25, 27, so a bit of a funny one, uh, maybe my, de my detectors uh, playing funny buggers with me today, uh, trying to throw me on the numbers a little bit, so uh, with that said, we are just going to sort of dig uh, a lot of those high signals uh, we are only cherry picking today so we're not going to dig the lower numbers uh, but we'll dig a lot of those uh, basically higher signals regardless of whether they're steady and stable uh, target IDs or not we'll just dig them 
So just standing back up and checking my hole, uh, like I always do, so that's the target we just dug there, uh, under my foot there. And basically, uh, this is why the numbers were throwing a little bit off. If, uh, if you listen to this, ready? We've got another coin in that hole. So a bit of a coin spill there, uh, so we might be on to another $2 coin, uh, or a $1 coin. So let's open him back up. Let's have a bit of a look. I didn't really stick the pinpointer in there too well uh, in the hole. I should have. Uh, however, the target was in the plug there, so uh, I didn't really bother too much uh, going any further with the hole. So, and look, religiously, I always check my holes as I go. You know, uh, once I stand up, I always check my holes. So, there he is. I can see him. So yeah, look, never. Uh, I generally don't miss these items. You know. Uh, <laughs> always be thorough uh, if you're going to dig the hole too and uh, you know walk uh, walk away without swinging back over it to check it to recheck the hole uh, you are just wasting your time really well not wasting your time you you're, uh, you're you're missing out on a lot of good stuff so and you're making it easy for the next person because they come along uh, see a freshly dug hole swing over it uh, being thorough and uh, they will find what you missed well, to my surprise, uh, it has happened again by the looks of that. Uh, we, uh, we just dug sort of a, a, a very dodgy signal, uh, and basically, uh, I can see a hint of gold. So, that means gold coin. Let's pull him out. My detector is playing funny buggers with me today, because uh, that was jumping all over the place. So, like a bottle top would. So, a bit of a strange one. Anyway, into the pocket he can go. And I think that is about $8 now, so we might just check that hole too quickly. Make sure there's nothing else in there. Yep, she's still turned on. That's it, that's it. And uh, just to be sure, uh, we will always swing back over the hole once we shut it uh, with the detector. So just make sure that the pinpointer, uh, the, the target's not any deeper, and uh, we're not messing it with the pinpointer. We've got our next coin, I think. Uh, it's in the rough. Look at this one. In the sand where the kids do all their high jumping, uh, school sports and what have you. Where is he? Oh, he may not be. Uh, we've been jinxed. There you go. Southern Comfort. Perfect 21. So we've got our next gold coin here. And uh, it's not a $2, it's a $1. It's a special $1 too. So very nice. And it's a bit, uh, a bit funny too, because I sort of uh, hummed over this sort of sand pit area uh, really quickly. And then uh, just sort of, oh, better, better just cover it that little bit better. And I just sort of went one more grid back in this way. Like it's only a very uh, small sand pit uh, where the kids run off and do their high jump. And I just swung back this way and bingo, uh, there it was. I must have missed it uh, in my swinging. So it always pays uh, to re-grid and recheck that area. Right, so we won't jinx this one, uh, but I do believe this is going to be another $2 coin. So let me give you a listen. How good does that sound? As you can hear, really short, sharp uh, signals too. So it's amazing too. I was just thinking, you know, I've hunted this place so many times before. Uh, it's right within our, uh, as I said, 5K uh, limit. There you go. Not a $2 at all. It's a $1 coin. Uh, but yeah, look, we're, we're uh, exercising our two hour, uh, two hour limit of exercise today per day uh, during lockdown and uh, at, a, at an oval close to home. So just working around the outside and it's amazing how many uh, targets have been uh, freshly dropped and also how many uh, are deep that I'm digging uh, that I know that I've missed in the past. So really, really cool. So even just had uh, a local police officer rock up here too. And uh, look, I was a bit of a rebellious teen. Uh, he knows me from, uh, from, from when I was younger. Uh, don't think I ever had dealings with him, uh, but he knows me and I know him. And uh, <laughs> He gave me a wave, he was on the bike, he gave me a wave, and he's like, oh, you're digit detecting, are you? I said, yeah, yeah, I am. And uh, he goes, oh, good on you, good on you, I uh, love what you're doing, and uh, yeah, have a good day. So anyway, uh, let's keep going. So there might actually be a bit of a coin spill in this one. Uh, we've got that $2 just there, and as I always do, check over the ground that I've just, uh, just dug, basically, for any more targets, because generally when you shift one, uh, you'll find that another one will pop up, so... There we go. Wasn't a coin. Jack Daniels. Yep. Ah, those things are so tricky 
Uh, they always sound so good. You've got to dig them. So, uh, well, uh, well, we'll stand back up and hopefully uh, we, we dug the rubbish there. Hopefully there's a coin there to reward us with. So there we have it, uh, our next gold coin. What a ripper, what a ripper. I am getting rich, Mitch. Uh, that's that's awesome. So that is really cool. And I'm gonna keep continuing uh, to work up along sort of uh, this car park here. Uh, in front of me is like a, a little uh, public hall, scout hall sort of building, uh, whatever you'd like to call it. So I'm gonna keep working up along here because uh, I even know when I was younger, uh, 18, what have you. Uh, I remember coming to a few parties here, uh, having a few drinks, and uh, I'm sure uh, there would have been plenty of people that did also and uh, lost some coins, and who knows, maybe even a ring or two. So how's that? I found my Nissan. Uh, that's not my Nissan. My Nissan's parked over uh, behind the building there, so there you go, my Nissan. May have been a key tag or a badge or something, so interesting. Well, this is a different one. I just pulled this out of the uh, the hole there, and uh, I'm a little bit confused as to what it is. So I was sort of thinking Japanese. Uh, whoops, not if I drop it. I was sort of thinking Japanese, so, uh, but I'm not 100% sure. So that's an interesting coin. Token, something. Uh, I don't know, don't know. Anyway, a little bit more research required on that one. Uh, we're only chasing the goldies today, so I did not expect something like that to pop out at all. So, very interesting. That's what I love most about metal detecting, though. Uh, you know, you go out for one thing, uh, you just never know what else uh, is going to come with it. So, what else are you going to find for that day? Okay, so welcome back. Uh, what you didn't just see then is uh, we packed up quickly and uh, we changed sites. I sort of had a bit of a thought and thought, right, I'm going to spend the last 40 minutes of my day uh, hunting my old high school. So that's where we are now. Uh, we're at my old high school and basically, uh, look, it does not look anything like uh, what it used to. So uh, right now I'm standing on part of the old ring road. Uh, and pretty much, uh, look, about, about where we are now would have been uh, where I hung out every day at lunchtime with me mates in the bus shelter there, so also where I waited for the bus of an evening. So I have a really good idea of where everything was still in my head uh, at this school, uh, even though it has changed somewhat uh, since then. So uh, to the right of me is a big oval, uh, and to the left of me, as you can see, the cricket courts. So... What we're going to do is we're going to work up the back here a little bit because, um, as I said, I know where uh, all the cool kids used to hang out uh, back in the day, and that ground uh, is some of the original ground here. So everything else has been sort of, um, you know, top filled or scraped off and taken away and um, all changed. So uh, a bit of a struggle this site. However, as I said, we'll start working up the back there and uh, hopefully try and uh, hit on some original ground, and who knows, maybe even some of the coins uh, that me or my me or my mates dropped. Okay, so what a bloody ripper. Uh, I've just dug a really, really neat coin and not something that I was expecting uh, to find at all. I mean, we've only got, as I said, we've got about 40 minutes here, so uh, if that. So, you know, the fact that I dug this as my first target, uh, wow, silver coin, how cool is that? It come up as a 25, uh, jumping around 25, 26. It's funny because it's a sixpence too. So it should have been in a, at a 19. Uh, however, 25, 26. So I was just presuming it to be uh, a dirty old bottle top. But look at that. And you know, this school, uh, my school here, 1942 D for Denver. So our coins were being supplemented and minted over in America. Uh, during the war years, World War II uh, years, so that's a ripper. He's been uh, minted in Denver, America, found his way all the way to Australia and uh, been dropped right here, right here. So what a beauty, what a beauty. You know, I was just sort of walking my way over to and I was thinking, you know, I've got to find where the original sort of ground uh, is, was, you know. i got a pretty good picture in my head, you know, being that I this is my school. Uh, I come here for, what, five years uh, in my secondary years. Uh, so day in, day out, walking around these grounds, uh, I know it pretty well, and I know what's changed. So uh, we are sort of heading towards uh, what is original ground now. Uh, the tree in front of me, he's original, uh, and all those trees over there, they are all original too. So we're going to head over that way. Uh, the football oval was in front of us over there. Uh, the smoker's pit was over there, so we might even try and head over to where the smokers used to stand and, and uh, fag away with their cigarettes, because... Uh, Generally, that is a great spot to uh, start the old oval uh, at schools, old ovals, and uh, also where the kid, the cool kids 
uh, used to hang out smoking. So uh, you got to remember, they were sort of places that kids would go every day, every day. You know, you go to the canteen, you grab your pie and your sausage roll and your drink. Uh, where do you go? You go to the back oval. So that's where we're going. Okay, so I found the old uh, bus ring road. Check it out. How cool is that? You see it's all been uh, taken away from this way back. Uh, basically it used to run all the way down there to the main road and the buses used to come in and out here all day long uh, taking kids on and off campus so uh, inside there in this tree line here too just sort of that way a bit uh, there used to be some old portable buildings so might try the last 10 minutes of our efforts over there uh, we have been uh, over here uh, basically where the, the cool cats used to hang out i'll show you that in a sec uh, but also here uh, we might even try here too this is where some old portable buildings uh, used to be and uh, you can see the amount of glass and what have you uh, it's been left over on the ground so from them being here so i don't know how we'll go i'm not expecting really uh, much to come out here uh, if anything probably just rubbish uh, whoever however uh, who knows there could even be a marble in here if we spend a little bit of time so this school doesn't have the longest history uh, compared to other ones uh, around town around here uh, however it still does have a pretty good long-standing history i think it was built somewhere in the in the mid 40s or, or, or late 40s so um you know pre, if you i sort of take into that account into sites you know if i go to a site and it's you know uh, 50s 1940s 50s whatever that always makes me think straight away well uh, pre-decimalized coins uh, we had the decimal uh, changeover in uh, february 14th 1966 so you know I always make me make myself think well uh, if if uh, you know a site is 10 or 20 years older uh, 40 1940s 1950s what have you uh, there is plenty of time for those pre-decimal coins to be dropped and lost so you know as i said this school does not have the longest history you know you're not dating back into the early 1900s or or late 1800s you know turn of the century sort of thing however however uh there is still 10 20 years uh, of kids attending this school and you know almost about eight nine hundred kids annually attending this school uh, for 20 odd years before uh, decimal changeover took place here in australia so uh, plenty of time for those coins to be dropped uh, we just got to find them so this is the uh, what I was speaking about. Uh, this is the old cool kids hangout. So where all the cool cats would spend their lunch times uh, eating and and what have you. So you go straight to the canteen, and uh, this is where you'd end up uh, after you grabbed all your snacks and your food and your drinks. So not much to see here now. Uh, there's nothing to see here now, really. Uh, just been the, the school's just been using as a bit of a burn uh, pile. So basically, there used to be some tables and chairs uh, running along here, though, and. Uh, if you were if you were cool if you were a cool kid uh, this is a place where you were at so we're going to spend the next five minutes just humming around here and uh, then we're going to head over and do those portable buildings that i was speaking about so quick story for you uh funny story uh, i remember one lunchtime we're all at the back here and there was a kid here uh, who used to hang out the back here with us and uh, there was a kid there that uh, every single day he'd bring an orange to school and he'd eat that orange uh, he loved his oranges and uh, it's funny the bus used to fly past this ring road every day as I said and uh, it would come past a, a certain time around lunchtime anyway <laughs> this young kid grabbed this orange uh, he hadn't eaten it that day and for whatever reason uh, he pegged it as hard as he could uh, from, from standing about there he pegged it as hard as he could as the bus rolled around the corner here and uh, poor old mate bus driver he had the little side window open and I swear to god uh, that orange it was like a direct hit it went straight through that little side window hit him in the side of the face oh poor man and uh it's not funny it's not funny stop laughing <laughs> anyway um he continued on down the ring road we're all like holy shit <laughs> and uh anyway oh shit it's a funny story and uh, <laughs> the principal come back now this bus driver and the principal uh, never got along uh, they just did not get along they you know any function or anything like that they never stood beside each other you never see them chatting they they did not like each other at all uh, two very strong opinion people anyway so the bus drivers went uh went with the orange on his face and uh, went and retrieved the principal the acting principal at the time and uh they've both trotted down here together probably uh hating each other but knowing that they have to come together to try and resolve this issue <laughs> and they've come down here and i'll never ever forget it we're all standing here 
uh, there was probably about 20 of us, uh, 20 of us kids here, and uh, we're all standing here, and the bell went, the bell for lunch went, and it was time to go in, so uh, we all started to wander off, uh, but no, that wasn't going to happen. Uh, we had the, the principal and the bus driver walking over here, and they bailed us up right here, and uh, some of us continued to walk off, I think I was one of them, continued to walk off, so a little bit of a rebel when I was younger, and uh, I think I got yelled at, I think a few of us got yelled at, you know, get back in your place, rah, uh, you're not going anywhere, we're going to find out who threw that orange so uh real cracker story and look uh, the bloke owned up he owned up he said oh, i threw it and uh you know it was funny because uh watching the principal there uh trying to act on behalf of the bus driver that i i knew that he farewell hated uh, it was quite a funny situation so we all went back to class after that uh laughing our head off uh unfortunately our poor dr bus driver uh, he probably went back to bus driving with a bit of a headache and a sore jaw so i was not the one that threw that orange though uh, i just wanted to tell you the story Okay, so moving on from the uh, orange story, uh, poor bus driver, I'm still laughing about it though, uh, some 20 years on, so <laughs> pretty funny, pretty funny. We've got an old uh, lead sinker, so I don't know what that's doing here, uh, maybe a kid brought it to school, or maybe someone has been practicing uh, their casting, so it's an old one though, so... As I said, this was always school uh, prior. It's only in recent years become an oval. So uh, being an old sinker, I wouldn't expect it to be uh, from someone casting or practicing their casting uh, any time recently. So let's keep going. I got a key, a Zuzu. You know, this might have been to the old, um, yeah, it might be too. Might be to the old uh, little truck that used to get around for the, the, the maintenance guy uh, for the school. You know, he used to get around maintaining everything and uh, cleaning the gutters, emptying the bins, all that sort of stuff. Uh, <laughs> he copped a fair bit of flack uh, too from from kids at school. Not me, once again. Oh, I would never do that. Uh, but he copped a fair bit of shit too, so poor bugger. Uh, but it looks like his old lawnmower key, uh, Izuzu, or even his old little truck that he used to get around in. So... Yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. Bringing back the memories. So this is not our first uh, two cent coin, but uh, look how bent this guy is. He's been hit by a lawnmower, I'd say, or uh, probably bent uh, by a kid in the vice or a pair of pliers or something. So, yeah, really cool. I've got quite a collection uh, of the bent and chopped coins now at home, and uh, they're in the display case. So I love, love displaying them. So they're just interesting. So I even got uh, a florin that's been chopped. I think he's about three quarters of a florin or a half a florin. Uh, not much left of him at all. So what I was going to say too, uh, like I said in my last video, the, uh, the, the coin cleaning video, um, basically I will be showing uh, during the rest of this lockdown, I'll be filming and showing uh, all of my collection, so stay tuned uh, as I will be uh, putting that together very soon to show. I found an A, A for awesome, A for amazing, A for A, where's all those coins, A? Rightio, last target and uh, we then need to get out of here, so we've got about 10 minutes left and uh, look, I, I don't want to go breaking the rules and uh, staying out too long, so I know it sounds silly, we live in a free country here in Australia, uh, however, it just is what it is at the moment. I'm not the only one in this situation, uh, so we need to comply like the rest and do the right thing. So I can uh, fully re respect that and fully appreciate that. So we're going to get home in a minute. <laughs> Plus, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Uh, digging all these holes has made me hungry. So anyway, we'll give his, this last one a dig, as I said, and uh, we are going to see what it is and then pack up and get out of here. It was a 26-2. Uh, by the way, for anybody that didn't see. So, who knows? This could be a florin. What a way uh, that would be to finish the day. Ah, oh, no. That's not silver. Ah, oh, dear. That's another bent up. Uh, hit by the mower. Two cent coin. Ah, uh, well. Never mind. That, as I said, is our last dig. Uh, we are going to... I'm going to hold my word with that one. And uh, not like normal. Keep digging like crazy. Another ten targets before I get back to the car. So... That will do, as I said, uh, let's get back to the car and let's give you a look at what we got today for the two hours. See, I told you I wasn't lying. Uh, it's off and we're walking out. So I was just thinking too, uh, in me head, I was just thinking, you know, while we've got this lockdown going on, uh, I am going to, I try, I'm, I'm trying to put out more content uh, just to keep it entertaining uh, and keep something uh, there for you guys to watch. However, if there is anything you uh, specifically would like to see, uh, you'd personally like me to uh, concentrate my time on, uh, keep in mind I am in lockdown, uh, so I can't go too far from home. 
or do too many things and visit the sites that I regularly visit. However, if, if there is anything uh, that you would like me to sort of concentrate my time on, or if you'd like to see more, or if you'd like me to uh, revisit again and do again, uh, you know, it could be some of my finds, it could be uh, some of the sites that I've visited. Uh, I might uh, do a video and try and explain a little bit more on how I research uh, for these old sites. But look, as I said, if there is anything uh, you sort of thought of in the past or think of in the future and think, you know, uh, I'd really like to see uh, how he does that or more of this, uh, be sure to drop a comment in the uh, comments section below and uh, give me some ideas, give me some tips and uh, tell me what you want to see. So uh, remember, it's not all about what I want to do. Uh, I'd, I would prefer uh, to provide content that you guys want, uh, not what I want to see, uh, what you guys want to see. So that's, you know, a good idea uh, while we're in lockdown and something for me to work on. So anyway, uh, let's get this gear in the car and uh, let's get home. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we've got you at home now and uh, we've quickly laid all our finds out, uh, what we got in the last two hours, uh, ready to give you a look through. So what we're going to do is start with the top here, uh, start with all the rubbish, so uh, nothing too special, uh, just a lot of those bottle top lids coming out, so and a few of those pull tabs, a couple of lead sinkers, all within that uh, sort of 18 uh, to 40 target ID range. So. Uh, the Southern Comfort and the Jack Daniels lids, uh, they are such a pain. Uh, they always ring in so nice and you always guarantee, you think, oh, it's got to be a coin. Uh, it turns out to be a lid. So anyway, uh, we've got the letter A. I'm not too sure what that is off. Uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool E. Uh, we've got the $2 coins, uh, $10 in $2 coins and another 4 bucks uh, in $1 gold coins which is really nice because uh, that is $14 that we did not have uh, to begin the day with. So 14 bucks richer. We got the five two cent coins, uh, the six one cent coins, nothing too special there to see. The old Nissan plate badge, really, really cool. I don't know what that was off once again, uh, but it's, it's not off my Nissan. Uh, <laughs> we had uh, the old Isuzu key. It may have been off a lawnmower or even, uh, as I mentioned, the maintenance truck for the school. So uh, second last but not least, we had the little sixpence, D for Denver. As I said, uh, our coins were being supplemented and minted uh, in America during World War II. Uh, San Francisco and Denver, for memory, they were minting uh, our coins for us there. So really, really nice. And uh, this is not what I expected to find today. You know, I went out looking for uh, mainly just the gold coins, trying to cherry pick on them, and uh, did not expect a silver to pop out so really really cool what i was thinking too uh, that silver coin you know uh, the ground had been changed and turned that much at that old school site so that silver coin may not have been dropped there uh, he may have been planted there uh, some years ago when they did the upgrade and brought in a heap of dirt so he may have been brought from somewhere else and dropped at that school uh, filling in the the ground and leveling leveling it off so anyway um last but not least this is the very last i should say uh, we got the old coin now. I don't still know. I still don't know. I should say what this guy is. So uh, I have not done any research though yet. I've just been sort of thinking about it in my head and trying to work it out. Uh, basically, it's going to be Japanese or Chinese or Singaporean. I think I do believe it's going to be Japanese by the looks of that. Uh, but yeah, interesting coin. A little bit more research required on that one. Uh, if you do know, or if you do happen to know, uh, you can ID this coin. Geez, I'd love to know. Uh, so please be sure to drop a comment uh, in the section below. And uh, help me help me learn what this is. So I've never seen one before. I've found a lot of Chinese coins in the past, and even a few Japanese coins, but I've never seen one like that. So I can't read it. I can't ID it. Anyway, guys, uh, that is about it for us today. Uh, look, we're only out for a quick hunt today, only out for the two hours, as I said. Uh, but we will get back out again very soon. Uh, I don't know where or when, uh, but we will be back out again very soon uh, looking for those coins and relics and uh, showing you that next site. So anyway, guys, uh, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button below and uh, follow my finds for future. I'd love to see you there. So we'll see you next time. Cheers, guys. Happy hunting.